Brought to you by the Sennheiser Aviation Headset, Sennheiser, the quiet revolution, and by Garmin, proudly introducing new avionic solutions for experimental aircraft. The G3X flight display system now has a new autopilot, new options, and a new low price. Visit Garmin.com slash experimental to learn more. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting on Sun and Fun 2013. You know, I may be the most cynical guy on YouTube, but I have to admit even I'm impressed with this little device. This is a Clarity SV from a company called SageTech. Now, SageTech makes two versions of small portable ADS-B receivers. The Clarity SV is a top of the line and includes uh, ADS-B on two frequencies. It also includes a WASH GPS, and it has a built-in Anahar so you can use your iPad or your tablet computer as an EFIS. It, it sells for $1,400. Now, the next model, the basic clarity, and it sells for $1,100. It has ADS-B, the WASH GPS, but doesn't have the Anahars. Now, the idea here is that you toss this thing up on the glare shield. It puts out a wireless signal that the iPad can see, and then once it links up, you're in business. So you've got ADS-B and you've got uh, an EFIS. So we're going to take off here and see how this works. Okay, now we've uh, taken off from the airport and uh, we're flying around the area. We can uh, put the clarity up on the glare shield. And normally you do this on the ground, but I'm kind of demonstrating it here. You do it on the ground, it takes about uh, 15 seconds for it to, to align itself. The GPS gets a fix and, and the AHAR sets itself up and the mag magnetometer figures out what the heading is going to be. Now the fact that it has a magnetometer means that you have to be careful where you put it. You don't want it too close to the magnetic compass or any electrical interference in the airplane. But having said that, we found that so far the heading indication is quite accurate. Okay, we're looking here at the basic attitude indicator, and as you can see, you've got the bank angle indications, you've got pitch uh, indications, and at the very top of the screen, uh, we've got uh, speed, that's GPS ground speed, we've got heading, and we've got GPS altitude. Here's a look at the synthetic vision version. We've got some of the same indications, but as you can see on the left side, we've got an airspeed tape. Again, that's a GPS ground speed. And on the right, we've got GPS altitude. And there in the background behind the uh, attitude indicator, you can see the Gulf of Mexico, and you can see the some of the obstacles that are out in front of and of course, the land map. And then down at the bottom, uh, the way Wing X presents it, you can also have a terrain profile. We don't really have any terrain around here, so we're not seeing much. Now, as far as weather, the Clarity, as do most of the ADS-B receivers, uh, receives FIS or FIS-B. So that means you get NEXRAD radar, you get uh, PIREPS, you get TAS and METARS, and you get AIRMEX, AIRMETS and SIGMETS. Uh, however, it's not as current as XM tends to be. Uh, you get uh, a refresh every 15 minutes, where XM is every five minutes or so. But as you can see here, it displays on the map, and uh, you can see the various levels of precipitation. We've got some light rain around us today. And uh, here's what it looks like on the weather text page. So all these uh, indications are that it's uh, relatively recent ADSB weather. Now as far as traffic, I mentioned that it receives on two frequencies, 978 and 1090. And here's what it looks like on the actual screen. Now the airplanes you're seeing here are actually high altitude traffic. And what we're seeing are, are 1090 uh, transmissions from those aircraft uh, on the extended squitter. So that means that you're not necessarily going to see all the traffic that's around you, either mode C or mode F. So keep in mind that this isn't a complete traffic system. It's not like TAS. Now you get more detail about the Clarity and the Clarity SV from the Sage Tech website at sagetech.com or check them out at the Sun and Fun uh, Exposition this week. For AdWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching. Brought to you by the Evolution Flight Display System from Aspen Avionics. Aspen Avionics, a new way to look at avionics. And by Flying Eyes Sunglasses. Flying Eyes have been designed for one specific purpose, to be the best and most comfortable sunglasses to wear with an aviation headset. For more information, visit flyingeyesunglasses.com.